Good evening everybody, how you all doing? Hope you're doing well. Well, welcome back to the channel and uh, we've got a, just nipping out just to uh, check out these lights on this on this machine. On the uh, Twilight on the Triple. <laughs> yeah, basically we're on a little ride out here just to, just to see the lot, you know, just to see the performance of these lights. Uh, I noticed, which I didn't know before, there's no backlit display on the on the lights there uh, on the controls which uh, a little bit disappointed uh, oh yeah, I didn't know that I thought they were but no no backlit light thank you sir a little flash of the lights there and, uh, yeah what a lovely evening still fairly warm but yeah anyway these are the daytime running lights at the moment like I say we're still we're now crossing over uh, in a sort of night time we get these not, uh, lights on so we'll have a little look and we'll see see how they look it might not be it might not be very um very sort of it might not show you very well on the bike what the actual you know the lights are like uh through the video but it's worth a look i like the i love the display as well the nighttime running display there on the dash in fact i prefer that to the daytime one to be honest with the colours and what have you but we're now going to put it on uh, your normal lights there so that's your normal light in which is pretty good it's pretty good can't grumble at that I mean like I say it probably won't pick it up very well on the camera but it looks pretty good to me it's very nice coming out in uh, in the evening for a little ride Nice full moon there tonight as well. Well, look at that. So yeah. Anyway, that's um, that's your main beam. Yeah, and there's your full beam, which, to be honest, is pretty pretty good. I mean, we're obviously not in, you know, total darkness. That is <laughs> that is uh, twilight at the moment. So um, it's pretty good. It's pretty good that. Like, I don't I don't know how that's coming out on the video, but. It's pretty bloody good. So yeah, if you're new to the channel and you're interested in anything motorcycle related, consider hitting, hitting that subscribe button, hit the bell, the notification bell. You'll be notified of all the latest uploads, and there's plenty more to come. Like I say, this is a very short video. Just, just really, like I say, this is the first time I've been out uh, in the evening and uh, tested these lights out. So let's have a little pull over. Uh, to put it down onto the onto the normal riding mo uh, beam. Let's have a look. Let's hop off the old bike. Have a look. Yeah, it looks lovely, lovely from the back there. I love that. Lo love that light there. Brilliant. Yeah. Looks delicious. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of throws me a bit is you've only got this light on and these two uh, like the eyebrow lights on there and you've got this one out here when I first saw this I thought oh bloody hell I've got a bulb out but no that is how they are um, yeah let's put it on full beam that's your full beam my word yeah they are oh Christ yeah very good them very good. Like I say, it might, probably doesn't show very well on the camera, but there you go. Very nice. Very nice. Indicators are nice and bright as well. Yeah, brilliant. <coughs> it's a little bright light. Very nice. Lovely sky out there. Lovely sky there as well. Yeah, this is like I say, this is the first time I've been out on this at night, so it's pretty good, really. Pretty good, pretty impressed. I say, there's not a lot not to like about this bike. Things just seem to be getting better and better, all, all you know, every time I go out on this. Uh, the, uh, the switch gear, you just pull the. It's on the front of the, this left-hand display here, uh, but, uh, button cluster control cluster you just pull that towards you once you don't have to push it forward some of them you push forward for the high beam but this you just pull it 
forward towards you, let go, and then same again to it to turn it off. Because they are different on different models. I know you might be thinking, oh god, how boring, but what a lovely sky. But yeah, I think I actually prefer the the nighttime display on uh, on there to be honest you know this just this display all the colors and what have you looks very good i think with it in the daytime mode it's very difficult to see i mean you can see the revs there a lot clearer with it on the on the color mode or nighttime mode whatever you call it i think you could probably set it up so it stays on that all the while which would be probably um, more beneficial really does look good it's really good oh, I'm amazed at that color of that sky up there it's very nice very nice not really much else to say about the old uh, lights I think I think you know they sort of serve the purpose probably difficult like I say for you to see on the video it's your daytime running lights that's your nighttime light uh, main beam yeah, it's been something I've been meaning to do for, for a while, is to come out and check these check the lights out. And I needed some more milk for my tea, so... <laughs> and some PG tips. Tea bags. Other brands are available, of course. <laughs> oh, what we got in front of us again? We've got the white van man. It is right what I say, everywhere you go, everywhere you go on the bike, Oh, look at that water, look at that, that is delicious. That view there, I should have really pulled in there. Not often you see it like that. Wow. Like I say, very lucky to live around this area. There's far, far worse places to live than this. Slow down a tad. Anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. And like I say, if you haven't subscribed, consider hitting that subscribe button, it would be much appreciated. Plenty more content to come. And uh, yeah, just a brief video. And uh, hopefully, see you on the next video. Take care, speak to you soon.